So I'm going to show another new feature here for C Electrical V8 R4 Service Pack 2. And this is um, alternative channel symbols. So I'm going to show an example of placing on a four pole changeover relay, which has a list of changeover contacts that can be used with it. I can place directly from the components, or I can right click and choose complete, select the same component, and I can pick from a list in here. There's nothing different there, so that's everything that we could do before. If I now go into electrical and automation, and I try and place a normally open contact on there, it warns me the connection points don't match, and then it gives me the visual warning that it can't allow a normally open contact on there. So what I'm going to do is right click and explode that symbol, Let me zoom forwards a bit, and I'm just going to copy one of those connection points at the bottom, so I have three connection points. Let's put it up there. I'm going to window around, right click, and I'm going to block this now, not as a normally open, but as a changeover contact. So it's now picking up three connection points, but I don't want to see the third one. I'm only interested in those two. So although it looks like a normally open, it's happy that that's a changeover contact. I'm going to right click in the symbol database in a bit of space, use new symbol database, call it dot custom. So I've got a new symbol database. I'm going to right click, add a new folder. for contact, and I'm going to drag this onto there, and I'll call it normally open, in brackets, changeover. I'm going to repeat that now for a closed symbol. So back into relay contact, normally closed. Same problem, it's not expecting a normally closed symbol. So again, I'm going to right click, explode. This time the order for a change of a contact is common, open, closed. So what I'm going to do is move one of the symbols down so that the closed one is the last one out of the three. The order is important here. It's going to window round, right click and block. Again, as a contact changeover. And this time it's that second one we don't want. I'm going to drag from the top onto contacts and say this is normally closed changeover. So this is where the difference is. We could do all of that before in V8R3 and previous versions. What we can do now is double click on the symbol. In the equipment, I can now right click, open the database in editor mode. I can now double click on the part that I've assigned to that. Scroll down the information until I find Define Channels. And now this is the new part. When we click in the Symbol database, there is a plus one button. When you click on that, you can then say, I want an alternative symbol for that. I want it to have a normally open symbol. So I can see this now has a normally open symbol. Now the important thing here is that each of these alternatives must be the same symbol type. You only get to define the symbol type once. I'm going to do this one more time. Custom for normally closed. So I now have three different choices, a change of a symbol, a normally open graphic, and a normally closed graphic. All of these are the same symbol type. I'm just going to copy that down. So control C and then control V to paste that down. We could have repeated that just by searching and adding those. So if we now click on, okay, okay, close. We update the channel definition information. And now when we click on okay, it's not a lot that's changed on there. I'm just gonna remove two of those and then right click on the symbol and choose complete again. You'll notice this time each of these options has three tabs and there is a maximum of four different symbols we can assign to each symbol. So now I can click and place. Once it's used on that particular pole, I can now go to a different one and say, I want to normally open on this one. 
So you can see the uh, advantage there. We can assign multiple symbols to each channel depending on how we want it to look. The final thing to show is that in the components panel, if I refresh this and bring up the same part again, you can now see there's a yellow highlight on each of these contacts. So if I place in a new relay coil, place in one of these, I can now use the keyboard shortcuts of B or N to switch between those. So forwards or backwards through the group, when I click, I can see it's linked in and I can choose the device name from there.